Welcome to Free! I'm Geraldine and today we're going to talk about how to start something new. How to start learning something new. In your case, it might be English or just any other thing because I want to share my experience, not with English, but with something that can relate to the way you feel about English. Maybe you let me know. I've talked to many people who don't want to study English or who don't want to know anything about English because they don't like it or because they think that it's too difficult for them, that it's not for them. And it was always hard for me to relate to them because oh, <laughs> I've always loved English and I learned it so easily. So it's a joy, a pleasure for me. And that is something that I can share with many people. But there are some other things. There's one thing particularly. I am messy. I am a mess. I am very, very disorganized. I don't know what order is. I've always had problems with this. Um, it came to a point in which I gave up, you know? I, I reached a point when I said, you know what? I am disorganized. So that's the way I am. I won't change. And it was true. I wasn't going to change because I was not going to do anything about it. But at the point, I didn't see that. But a person helped me see that for some things, for some weaknesses I had, I could say like, oh, well, I am bad at this. I could say like, well, I'm bad at this, but I'll work on it. But for, for other things, I said, I am terrible at this and I will always be. Why did I do that? I did that with my organization skills. I said, I am disorganized. I'm never going to be an organized person, so forget it. Of course, I was never going to be an organized person if I didn't do anything about it. The same with you in English. If you feel you were born with it, uh, you can learn from it, and you do nothing about it, then you will never improve. But that is the point when you can improve the most. And that's, and that's what I'm saying with my organizational skills. I am at the bottom, so I have a lot of books. So there's a lot of room for improvement. <laughs> and that is great. I know I wasn't born with this ability, but I can learn from people who were born with that. Or, or even better, I can learn from people who have learned how to become more organized. So that, that is just great. Um, so organization, not my thing. So I won't even touch it. Why would I do that? If I did that for everything that I'm not good at, well, I do nothing with my life. For instance, a bit more than an hour ago, I started recording this video. Well, no, I started attempting to record it. And I wanted, you know, a nice shot, a great angle, and I just couldn't get the camera straight because I'm not good at filming. I am just doing this. And I didn't say, well, I'm terrible at this. I'm not going to do it. I said, well, I can get the camera straight. Well, I'll do something new. And here I am. And well, I know I'm not great at this, but I know that as I continue doing it, I'm going to become better. Because that's what happens with everything. Uh, why didn't I think that about my organizational skills? If I can get better if I keep trying. Well, I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. But I also know that I can do it, as you can do it too. And I like thinking of it as a challenge. For example, with this organizational thing. I think, how can I be better? First, I think as I think of what I tell you. you. You have to find a way of enjoying it. So how can I enjoy organizing things, which I do not? 
Uh, maybe planning. I like planning. I don't like organizing stuff, things, you know, but I like planning, making plans and making lists. So I can make my list for what to organize and how to organize it and start organizing it. I can share this with you because sharing what your goal is, is always helpful. What else can I do? I need to make it part of my life, make it part of my routine and my habits, like I tell you to do with English. And getting you involved also helps me. Uh, for example, a few, years, a few days ago, I posted on Instagram my before and after <laughs> after organizing my bookshelf which was there and I didn't feel like doing I would just organize the parts that would you would see on the video but I said man I have to do something better for myself I can do it and I did it I'm very proud of it I'm very happy about it and then I uh, after uh, thinking about making this video I started looking for more hashtags with organization because I know I can get more organized and I found a challenge, an organization challenge. And that's great. I, I like the challenge because it's good for me. I know it will help me a lot. So I'm gonna try to do it. Now I have a question for you. Do you think that I can get more organized? Truly. I think I can. I can be more organized with my stuff, with, with my house, with my notebooks, and you can get better at wherever you want to. We are in this together. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, share, and see you soon.